President Obama has heard a lot of questions about his leadership style since his re-election. Critics asking why he does not spend more time trying to reach across the aisle, do a little glad-handing with the Republicans on Capitol Hill. But in a soon-to-be-published interview with Vogue magazine, First Lady Michelle Obama explains the first couple does not socialize more in Washington because they want to make sure their, quote, family is whole, choosing instead to spend their free time with their young daughters. Joining me now to discuss it, Simon Rosenberg. He's president and founder of NDN, a think tank and advocacy organization, also former campaign advisor to President Clinton, and Mark Thiessen, who's a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a former speechwriter for President George W. Bush. Simon, your thoughts on that? Oh, I have a lot of sympathy for the Obamas. You know, my wife works in the government, and we made a decision at the beginning of the Obama uh, first term that we both couldn't go into the government at the same time and be responsible parents. And I think that I know that my most important job every day is not my work, but, you know, making sure my three kids come out all right at the end of the day. And I have a lot of sympathy for the Obamas. I know that when I get that text message from my son saying I got an 86 on a test in the middle of the day, that's the most important thing that happens to me during the day. So, you know, I think that it's hard for families to find balance in this crazy society we live in today. And I think we've got to give these guys a lot of space as they try to do what they think is right for the country and for their own family. He puts that so beautifully. And yet I can see from the look on Mark's face <laughs> that he is not going to respond in a beautiful way, Mark. <laughs> Megan, I can't believe you'd say that. Look, I actually agree with Simon. I have, a, I have a lot of sympathy for the president. I worked all year, eight years of the Bush administration. I saw up close uh, the stress that the presidency puts on, uh, that puts on families. But... Uh, just can put this, I have a, while I have a lot of respect for Michelle Obama, this is a ridiculous excuse for not reaching out to congressional Republicans. And let me give you some context. In his, by his own estimate, in his first term, President Obama spent 600 hours playing golf. Yet the other day, Paul Ryan was on Fox News Sunday, and he said that his lunch with President Obama the other day was the first time he had spent more than two minutes with the president since, since taking office. I mean, think about that. President Obama, it took to President Obama till his fifth year in office before he sat down with the House Budget Committee chairman. That is ridiculous. So here is the problem in a nutshell. 600 hours for Ooh. golf, Ooh, zero props. hours for, with Paul Ryan. <laughs> uh, we love a prop. That, that helps Look, everybody understand. That was a good prop. That was a good prop. So this is how it goes, Simon. You, I'm, you not Carl, opened, I'm not Carl Rove yet. That's but. right. Just a small one. But, but you opened with a beautiful sentiment about family yeah. and having your son yeah. and the 86 sure. on the test. And, and then, you know, then Mark just dumped all over it. But he had some points about how they, you know, you can, you can reach out to business hours. And yeah. you, instead of golfing mm -hmm. with your buddies, maybe you could golf with somebody on Capitol Hill that you think you could make some progress with. Yeah, look, I, I think that clearly the president is acknowledging now, right, that by what he's doing this week, that he needs to spend more time with members of Congress, that he's got to roll up his sleeves and be a little bit more like LBJ than the way he was uh, in the first term. And, and look, presidents, not everybody brings the same set of skills. I mean, President Obama is a very thoughtful and serious guy, great order. You guys talk about that on this show quite a bit. You know, the social side is not what animates him about politics. Mm. It's not what gets him up that every day. That is very interesting. So, so I think that he's correcting that. I think that he's trying to broaden out his, you know, he's becoming a better president. He's responding to what people, the critics are saying. And he recognizes he's got to roll up his sleeves and spend time in Congress. I think right, that's so, a good thing. Well, I, think and I think that's we should very be interesting, Mark, because yeah. It, it, yeah. Simon, yeah. all right, so if, if the First Lady is... You know, I don't, covering for her husband, right? If she's saying something like, look, the reason mm -hmm. he didn't socialize more is because we wanted to be with our family. And if that's not exactly 100% accurate, because there was time to socialize, uh, he just mm -hmm. didn't choose to spend it with the Republicans. Maybe it is not because her husband has an aversion to Republicans and reaching across the aisle. Maybe it's because he's an introvert. There have been so many reports out there that he is not a Bill Clinton, that he is more introverted, that he doesn't really feel comfortable doing that. Yeah. Well, then how does that explain why in the weeks leading up to the sequester, instead of sitting down with John Boehner and the Republicans, he was out at campaign rallies warning about Armageddon and trying to blame Republicans nonstop for these supposedly disastrous cuts that were coming down. And now all of a sudden there's a charm offensive. I mean, look, Simon sees the president growing. I see damage control. The, 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 there was a McClatchy poll the other day that shows 59 percent of Americans either think that the sequester will have no effect on them or that it will actually have a positive effect. And they, this is the most interesting part of that poll. For, they, by a margin of 44 to 40.
They prefer congressional Republicans to Obama on handling the deficit, okay? He's losing to congressional Republicans. The sequester was an absolute disaster. And so now all of a sudden, he's Mr. Cooperative and having these nice dinners at the Jefferson Hotel and meeting with congressional Republicans for the first time since 2010 the other day on Capitol Hill. Where was he before? And let's see how long this lasts, because I think very, this is all about damage control and not a new cynical. love of bipartisanship. Yes, very <laughs> cynical, Mark. I've Simon, been in I believe he's time, completely Megan. busted the beauty balloon. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and, and, you know, but, but to be fair, truly, the president has, he's taken some, some flack for, we saw him during the campaign season, really, uh, with, with Beyonce and with Jay-Z and Harvey Weinstein and George Clooney and you know, he golfed with Tiger Woods after the election and Michelle Obama skied in Aspen and all this. You know, they have a good time. It's fun to be president sometimes. Um, who's that? Who are we looking at there? Oh, it's Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. She looks very different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By the way, she recently <laughs> said that high heels have ruined her life. Just an FYI for all the women out there. Uh, but, you know, Not he's, yours, Megan. Not he's, yours. Oh, please. I wear these high heels for these two hours on the set and then they come off immediately. Uh, but he, he made time for them, Simon. So why not, Paul Ryan? Uh, well, I, <laughs> so look, I think that the, you know, these are a thoroughly modern couple uh, who are trying to balance all of these rigors of being president of family life. And I think that, as I said earlier, I think the president is working very hard now, right, to try to, you know, to be more available to the members of Congress that are here in town and that they, they are clearly acknowledging that perhaps he didn't do enough of that in the first term. So he's doing it now. But I also think to something Mark said, he's going to continue, as he did with the Paul Ryan budget this week, to communicate to the public about his views. This is not, there's going to be an outside game and an inside game. He's got to do both well to get the stuff done this year that he wants to get done. I'll tell you what, if he really did spend the last four, you know, five years with his daughters, uh, who are now 14 and 11, learning how to negotiate the Republicans <laughs> that are in a lot of trouble. They're in a lot of trouble. What could hone your skills better? than negotiating with a 14-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be a jujitsu expert by now in negotiations. As a former 14-year-old girl, I can say that. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, Megan. Well, we are